Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Brian here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an authentic Barbados-style hot sauce. So, let's start the show. Taking notes from the fiery poinciana flower on the island, Barbadiana pepper sauces offer a delicate blend made with natural ingredients, delivering spicy flavor and color reminiscent of stunning Barbados sunsets. For ingredients, this sauce contains water, distilled vinegar, onion, scotch bonnet peppers, mustard, turmeric, salt, and xanthan gum. From the description, it sounds like today's hot sauce is going to take your taste buds on a tantalizing culinary journey via the flavors of the island. This sauce really does have a beautiful yellow color to it from the mustard base. And then littered throughout the sauce, you can see little slivers of red scotch bonnet peppers, few seeds in there. Looks like overall it has a really nice consistency. I also really like the backstory to this sauce, and hopefully I get the name right, but Miasha Lane is the creator of this Barbados-style sauce. She was kind enough to reach out to me about it and share some of her history and how this sauce came to be. Living here in the United States, Miasha had a hard time finding a hot sauce that really delivered on the spice and flavor she was looking for and what she knew growing up on the islands as a kid. During a visit back home on the island, she really got inspired and wanted to come up with a recipe and wanted to create her own hot sauce, one that she could bring back to the United States and sell to the population, give them that flavor, that spice that she just couldn't find anywhere here on the shelves. Thus, we have today's authentic Barbados style hot sauce. On aroma, man, this thing smells absolutely wonderful. You really do get all of these great scents from the from the islands. You're getting that that nice mustard base. You get the scotch bonnet. You get a little bit of that turmeric in there. It's just really an awesome aroma. On the consistency, you do have this nice, thick, almost uh, soupy-like consistency. So it's not at all overly, overly watery. It has a nice consistency. Again, it's a little bit chunky. You just, I love those little slivers of the Scotch Bonnet peppers in there. It's really beautiful sauce. Smells so good. But how does it taste? Here we go. Right away whole mouth just lights up but it's not overly hot it just has this you know slight sting obviously the scotch bonnet pepper isn't one of the hottest peppers in the world it's kind of down there on the milder side but it sure does have a nice little kick to it beautiful beautiful flavor and one of the other things i enjoyed when i was reading more about the background of this sauce is she was trying to find a sauce that really kind of balances out that heat so it's not something that's just going to be dominant all you're getting is hot 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 and like i've always said that's how hot sauces should be the focus shouldn't be on the heat the focus should be on the flavor and man this thing really delivers the flavor is outstanding again I, i'm a kind of a sucker i guess for mustard based sauces i've always enjoyed them uh, but this thing is really tasty i think i might have another little sample here Again, this is a very versatile sauce. Being an island sauce, I think it would be um, best suited maybe with like fish dishes, uh, more, more of those, I don't know, those island kind of type flavors, shrimps, fish, uh, ocean kind of themes. That's what I'm going for with this. But at the same time, man, this would be good with a steak. This would be good with your veggies. It would be good with your eggs in the morning. All around, man, this is pretty awesome. Mmm. So when it comes to rating a sauce like this, I think that I would like to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Reason being that they keep the ingredients simple, fresh, uh, authentic recipe. Plus, there's some other minor differences that uh, some people may not notice. They actually use real turmeric in this, whereas some sauces may try to use more of like a curry substitute to try to achieve the same flavor, but it's not the same. As far as heat goes, I think on my scale, I'm probably going to give this one a 2 out of 10. I'm starting to feel a little couple droplets of sweat forming on my forehead. Otherwise, it's really not all that bad. I've got a little bit of a tingle in the back of the throat, all the typical burns you would expect from a Scotch bonnet pepper. But again, it's not this overwhelming burn. They, they have a nice balance of flavor and heat, just as it should be with the flavor being dominant with a nice, I don't know, little pop of, uh, pop of spice that comes through there at the end. 
But hey, you don't have to take my word for it. Go out and pick yourself up a bottle. I will throw down a link down in the description if you'd like to get some of this for yourself. If you do, be sure and stop by and uh, tell her Burt Brian sent you that way. That's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure and give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that content, be sure and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. You'll get an email notification letting you know every time I put a new video out. And since it's been kind of far in between that I put out videos, might be a good idea. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay toasty, my friends. We'll see you in the next video.